because right now we're in the sunshine state and kind of going through a little tropical storm. Nicole tried to visit us today, but it's all good. We still got her and we are rolling deep because we are getting ready for the holiday season. And guess what? I heard a little birdie tell me that on November the 13th and the 15th, we are having a blowout sale for 50% off. And guess what? Just in time for the holidays. And I want to get you all ready for that holiday season, giving you some tips and tricks for pros, as well as giving you some little insight on a few deals that Bayonyani is going to be having today. Well, and actually not today, but this weekend from November 13th to 15th. So get ready for your stocking suffers, having things underneath the tree, or get ready for the um, Thanksgiving season that's coming up because you got to look fly for that as well. My name is Stephanie Hinkle, and let me know in the chat where you are from, where you're coming in from, what salon are you working at on this beautiful, I'm going to say it's beautiful because we needed some rain. So on this beautiful rainy, on this beautiful rainy day here, let me know in the chat. I'm here in Tampa, Florida. This is my beautiful, like we're, we're actually like coexisting. So my side, my, 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 she's like my sidekick, that's my co-partner here, my other half, Victoria. So we are Practical Magical studio, uh, Studios in Tampa, Florida, Lutz to be exact. So we are here and she's going to be my beautiful model with her beautiful luscious hair. So just to give you, while you're letting me know where you're from, getting you a little recap of what we're going to be going over in the next few minutes is, they are all set up because again, look at all this beauty. And she's getting ready for holidays. You know, we got the holidays coming up. You know, my girl needs a vacation. So I'm gonna put that good juju out there for her. So we gonna get her ready and so fine for vacation season as well. So as well as we um, have a little tips and tricks that we love playing with in the salon when we're working on our guests. And one of them will be our smart ex. And I don't know if you are aware of her or if you heard of her, but when you're doing a beautiful set, you have to start off with a beautiful blow dry, get that set to lock in. So our smart ex is one of the things that we do play with here in the studio. And our smart ex, can you see this beautiful? I mean, it's like, it's like the, are you a car person? She's the biggest car person, so she better not judge me. <laughs> so I'm going to say this is kind of like, the Rolls Royce, you know, we have different gears and the 10X, you know, that can be almost, or even like a Ferrari, almost. I would say, hello, Karen from Cali. I'm sure it's sunny over there. <laughs> so I'm going to look at this like the Rolls Royce or even the Ferrari, because the Ferrari and the Lambo are pretty like, you know, high speed, you know, ready to go. Am I right? Okay, so okay, she's going to keep me right. She's going to be like, mm-mm. <laughs> so when you look at these two, they do different things, right? So everybody loves their 10X in a salon, and I adore my 10X, especially when I'm working with my curly girls um, and my curly guys. But, you know, we got a new, like, smart friend here. And I would like to say, like, this is kind of like that, like, Lambo feel. Like, you can do a little bit of everything and anything. Hello, Margo. How are you, sweetie? So this is what this baby does. So when our 10X, I mean, when our 10, it's smart X, we got a lot of X's going on here. What our smart X, you can see this beautiful sleek finish taking place. It's now, right now, you can get this at your local salon centric. It is super, super quiet. Hello, Muggy from New Orleans. It's a welcome. And this beautiful baby right here, do you see the, the silence in that? So we have three beautiful speeds that we're working with. You can go high, medium, or low. You can also have the heat temperature going at the same rate. It comes off with a beautiful detachable nozzle. Very light in the hand. It sucks right in. Some beautiful features that it has to offer. Cuts good on your drying time, right? We all want to cut down on our drying time. And when we're talking to our guests, who is the only one? I mean, we like tag, like we, we tag him a lot here in the salon, so we are talk over each other like, hmm, huh? But now that we play with a smart ex, we're like, oh, we can actually hear. We can actually go in and um, have a good little conversation with each other as well as with our guests. So as I'm working through and we're setting our guests up, we're also talking about these features. And guess what? Our guest is noticing something, too. She's like, oh, my gosh. I can hear you. I'm like, you're right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is this beautiful, magical thing that you're working with? And I'm working with, and I'm letting them know, I'm also working with a smart ex. It works at 100 times speed per minute, equal temperature, equal airflow. And we're getting more airflow when you're working with the 10X. Typically, when you're versus working with um, the Smart X versus working with the 10X, you're getting more heat flow. So look at how, like, she's already dry here. I'm just really taking my time when I'm working through this because, again, not only does things start at the bowl with a good shampoo, but you need to make sure you start yourself off 
with a good blow dry. So you can set yourself up for a nice, consistent curl pattern. So that's going to lock in and last because you want to seal down that cuticle, which is with Bioionic Tools, it a lot for us to do. So I just got through that. I was probably talking to you for what, a good couple minutes, maybe less than that. I'm going to swing that over. I'm also working with our Blue Wave brush, which is kind of like a swivel. Can you see this beautiful guy here? This is one of my babies in the salon too because it does a two-fold for me. It allows it to be either a paddle brush for me, but it also gets on the scalp a little bit closer, but it still gives me that round brush finish. Who does not love that? Hello, Amy from Colorado. Hello, Michigan. I see you out there. So tell me, what's some of your favorite tools and right now your favorite bio and blow dryer that you're working with and playing with in the salon? Because with the 10X, again, you can see it's going through like butter. The Smart X, I apologize. I got the X's in my, my, my head right now. And I get some curly hair and I'm like 10X, 10X, 10X times 10. Another beautiful thing about the Smart X, it's self-cleaning. Because, you know, sometimes we forget. <laughs> we forget. We get in the zone, right? <laughs> We're like, I know I should be doing this. But what had happened was at the end of the night, we're like cleaning up everything, and then guess what we do? We either hang up our dryer, we put it in our station, and we're like, I'm out the door. It's been real. It's been real. <laughs> so to have something that reminds you that, hey, it's time for me to be clean, and B, not only is it time for me to be clean, I'm going to clean it for you. How dope is that? <laughs> I think that's like a really nice little finish to work with. So I'm just giving her again some nice little smoothing out here, working at different angles with the blow dryer. Right now, I have it on its lowest airflow. Again, this is more air heavy than it is heat. So again, we're still working with healthy heat, locking everything in. And look at this shine. Can you just like, that right, right there. She can just walk out the door and be like, you know what? You don't gotta curl me, girl, I'm ready to go. I mean, I can't leave her like this, but if she wanted to, <laughs> we can. And a big thing too, and especially Victoria, she really, and then she is like the mom, like when I say you mom blow dryer too, she takes super, and we both do take pride in, how well can we do a blow dry without having to reach for a smoothing iron if our guests need to get out the door on spot. So of course, a styling iron comes into play for everything, but you want to make sure that you have the right tools, that if your guests, oh my gosh, God forbid, something happened, and they're like, I gotta go, as is, and they're like, done with their style and finish, we already got a blow dry, they're looking beautiful right then and there, and we didn't have time to actually do the curls, we didn't have, she didn't have time for us to finish her off with a styling iron, like our 10X styling iron, or like our one pass, that she can just walk out the door as is, that is a beautiful feeling. And our guests take note of that, and they come back for moments like that. And that's how you really want to show them that, hey, I'm giving you tips and tricks not only behind the chair, but in front of the chair, you know, in front of the chair, this is what I can do for you as well. And when they walk out the door, some things we also want to let them know. Why? Because I think we also, when we're doing our styling finish, we are quick to discuss with them everything about what we did, the products we used, how to keep their color intact, how to keep them easy, breezy, beautiful color girl. Can you agree with me on that? We're like, you need to buy this, you need to do this. They're like, oh my gosh, I love that curly yarn. Like our one inch long barrel curling iron. We all love our one barrel, right? Our extended long, extra two inches long barrel by Bioion. We love that uh -uh, styling iron curler, but when it comes down to it, we forgot the most important thing, like how did we get there? She didn't just like, we didn't automatically just put the hot tool to her head and start curling on it. We had to do a blow dry. <laughs> so we like, we need to educate our guests on, you know what, although our long barrel is an amazing tool and you are definitely going to get that beautiful beach wave that you're going for, that longevity that you're looking for, there's also some other tools that we may need to discuss because guess what they're going to go use when they go home? Another blow dryer that can also equally cause heat damage and wreck the flow of the integrity of the hair, as well as discussing with them 
why working with like the Smart X, something that's lightweight, is going to be healthy hair. It has that volcanic feel to it. It's going to seal down. It's going to add moisture to the hair. It's going to give it shine. And guess what? It's closing down the cuticle. I'm just going back in, marrying these sections together. Again, I love this because I'm not, if I wanted to do more of a brown brush with this particular brush, I can do so. But since we're going to do a nice little style out, working with the 10X styling iron, as well as working a little bit with the 10X, working with our long barrel, one inch, I'm just really looking to make sure that I'm closing down the cuticle and giving away that shine. Look at, look at there. Can we, can we just, our guests are like, oh my gosh, you can get close. Can you see, come over a little bit more. Look at this shine. Isn't that beautiful? Do we love that? Does a 10X dry fast? They dry equally. So you can get through a blow dry equally as quick. Now, again, the biggest difference, Roy, between those is when you're working with the Smart X, you're going to get more, we're working more with the airflow. So the pressure of the airflow is actually what's drying the hair. Okay? So that's going to be a big difference. When you're working with the 10X, you're getting more heat flow. And with the 10X, the heat is where the heat is at. Okay? So there is no, uh, we only have those three settings, high, medium, and low, and the heat stays consistent within that. So when you're keeping those two things in mind, make sure you're keeping that in mind. What are you really going in for? And what do you really need to work on when you're working with the fabric of hair? Victoria has a fine fabric, super silky. You can see this. She's color treated. And she has a low density amount of hair. So keeping those things in mind of really what do I want to do, you can see how it really brought out her color, and especially this beautiful little money piece that she has going on here. So when you're thinking about what you're going to use it for, how you're going to work with it, this is what it can do for you. And you're seeing this, again, you're seeing how fast that cut down on my drying time. So we're easy breezy. And again, working with the brush. And when you're talking to your guests about these particular techniques, make sure, and this is a pro tip that I'll give to you. If your guests are like, mm -mm, sometimes about blow dryers, or sometimes we don't always know what to say about when we want to discuss a blow dryer, right? We're like, how do you, how do I talk to you about a blow dryer, girl? So we already know when they are in the salon, right? When they're out, like when they're at home, they're playing with a blow dryer. So when you're in the chair, they have challenges already. And I tell you, like, we, again, we, we back and forth, so I'm, I'm always going to tag her in on this, okay? So one thing that we always talk to our guests about, what challenge areas do you have? So tell me what you have challenges with when you're blow drying your hair. Everybody has one, right? It's either going to be a cowlick back here, this little area right here, don't want to do what it wants to do. It's some little weird area. They're like, it just keeps doing this or it just won't lay down right and so forth and so on. So what we kind of do in the salon is we'll put the dryer in their hand. Um, we'll put the dryer in their hand. And when we're putting our dryer in their hand, what we'll do is we'll also ask them, okay, what kind of challenge are you having? They show us. We'll put the dryer. We'll put our tool, which is the brush that we're working with. Because again, these are important tools that are helping sustain and maintain the health of their hair as well. And then we ask them, hey, how do you blow dry? Show me what you're doing in this area. And they begin to show it. So what do we just do there? We're giving an education experience where we're offering a solution, but we're also allowing them to see the power, the likeness, the utilization of the tools that we are working with as professionals. Our guests, we want them to be pro cons prosumers, not consumers, prosumers, giving them professional tools in their hand to work with so they can maintain the color and the integrity of their hair over time, right? Because they can come back more of like from heat damage. And sometimes we always blame it on the styling iron or the curling iron we're used to, but it can be the blow dryer as well or how they're utilizing the blow dryer. So once we allow them to show us, then we go and have an educational experience with them. And then we also show them, okay, this is how you now, we want you to start training yourself in your hand, working with this blow dryer, working with the brush, and we want you to blow dry this way. So we'll allow them to go through a little bit, right? Like we'll go through that experience with them. And then they're like, oh my gosh, I absolutely like love that. And they're like, oh my gosh, this is super light. And we're like, I know, right? And so we say nothing else. Like it's super light girls doing it. And they're like, look at how shiny. Oh my gosh, I didn't burn myself. Oh my gosh. So they get excited about the tool. And then we proceed and we go on with our finishing, doing our styling. And then we go on another like edu education experience with them just to go ahead and randomly blow dry so they can just go and say, okay, we want you to match our sections. So that way you know how to kind of recreate this at home. And then they do it again. So when we get to the end of our service and we're discussing with them how we recreate a look with them, 
we discussed with them the whole kit and caboodle. Like, this is the blow dryer. This is what we started off with. We started off with the shampoo and conditioner. The ACC by We Dad, amazing line for everybody. Everybody has frizz. Everybody needs moisture. Everybody needs a little protein. It seals down, controls, helps with longevity, whether you're straight, wavy, curly, extra curly. It does not matter. That is the go-to line. So then we, from there, then we're going to talk to them about their styling aids that they're going to be using, making sure they're working with thermal protection, which is also with the ACC line. Hint, hint. So you can play with that while you're at Salon Centric as well. And from there, once we go in then we also introduce to them the blow dryer the brush and then we also use the styling tool that we use if we we're going to do something to style them out whether it was working with our one pass our 10x styling iron or working with the long barrel which is something that our go-to is why we're here at practical magic so this is some tool that you can like kind of work in there when you're having a conversation with them educating them along the way giving them the whys but also put it in their hand it's like a puppy you want to have the puppy in your hand so you can like experience that right like when you got the puppy you're like i gotta buy i gotta, I gotta get it I, how do i get it where do i get it they can get it from you you can get it from you it's like support me i got you here you are and they leave happy and they're like oh my gosh by the time they come back to us they have we know their integrity is intact they walked away with the products we're using and they're working with the tools that we're using another big pro tip about this is not only are they working with professional products and they're working with professional tools, they're also gonna get a professional warranty. So with the Smart X, they get a 10 year warranty. Stop right there. Do you get a 10 year warranty on your phone? Does anybody get a 10 year warranty on the phone? Do you get a 10 year warranty on your car? I, I don't think I even get a 10 year warranty on my, like, they're like, you don't fix this. So the beautiful thing with Bioionic is one big like factor, like I absolutely love it, our warranties. So with our 10 X, our smart X, our graphene, 10 year warranties. So long as you take care of your tools and your tools are taking care of you, if anything happens within that 10 year, you send it back to us at a, at a low cost shipping rate. And then from there, from there, they're gonna send you a brand new one, not a refurbished one, not figure it out. We're just gonna figure, we're gonna take it upon ourselves to say, what happens here? And we send you a brand new tool. Like you, I can take my car back to the dealership right now and say, this thing is broke and it's not moving. So they're going to be like, so are you going to buy a new one? <laughs> they're not going to say, okay, you just need to pay a little shipping and handling price for getting the car that you want here. And we're going to give you the new one or the newer version of this car. They're not going to do that. So look at that and letting your guests know that they get these same advantages that you get through as a professional and they get this as now as a prosumer. So remember, whether they're going to invest in you or they're going to invest in someone else, I'd much rather them invest in you working with the right tools, knowing that the hustle and bustle that we go with on their hair is going to be crucial. So again, we start off with a great blow dry, right? Blow dry is in. We work with our Smart X, this beautiful baby, self-cleaning, three heat speeds, as well it has a lock switch. So whatever your favorite speed is, it locks it in and it's all set. Starts off really smooth. I talked to you through the whole time. I didn't raise my voice. I wasn't like, oh my gosh, what are they saying? Me and we are back here just giggling and chatting it up. It also has a beautiful cool shot. And in the back here, you can see that it's a brushless motor, so you're getting 10,000 hours out of this um, beautiful dryer here. And I still recommend that you go in and still kind of do a nice, a nice little clean out of this. But this is a beautiful, beautiful addition to, again, these stocking stuffers that are going out and something that you can definitely educate your guests on and allow them to get these stocking stuffers for their families and friends that they love, okay? So now that we have that all set, she's like, okay. And you know, after you do a color right, they're already like, oh my goodness, yes. So they're feeling their hair, they're touching their hair. They're going through all of the things and they're feeling like, this feels really good. Cause we just can't, you know, as women, we know when we, when we got that sweet spot, our, our look changes. The eyebrow goes up, the smile goes in. We're feeling really good right now. We're like, okay, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. So although I'm gonna be working with our long barrel, which is two extra inches extension. It does have a one year warranty. It's a nine inch swivel cord. So it goes around and it also has a little hook that you can hold on here for yourself. This cord, this um, iron does go up to 430 and it does have an automatic shut off. So this is really cool. A big thing that we like to do here, you can work with it as a curling iron or you can also work with it as a wand. 
So just again, I work with everything thermal protecting on her already by working with something within the VDAT line. All of them have thermal protections inside of them, so she's easy, breezy, beautiful. But if you would like a little extra texture, two lines that you can, and again, when you're working with finer fabric, we typically need a little bit of roughness on there. <laughs> and she has a little bit, and uh, make sure there's curl hold. So I'm gonna work with VDAT volumizing texture, um, texture spray just to give a little bit more texture. So we can get some longevity out. I'm going down and I'm going six inches away. And I'm working that through. And I can feel that texture and that love take place right then and there. I'm also working with my wet brush, Epic Line, um, our comb and our styling, um, styling comb, which is carbon. And it gets up to and it can hold up to 450 degrees. So you don't have to worry about that on your, your comb accidentally melting, which is important, right? Like melted comb, sometimes you get melted hair. So that's not cool. <laughs> so what I'm doing, I'm really just taking it at the base. And I, again, I'm choosing to use it as a wand. I'm turning it at like a diagonal and I'm wrapping this beautiful hair around this curl into a curl and I'm coating it here. So we're like cooking. Give me some num nums. <laughs> and I'm filling it on the top here. That's how I know if it's ready or not. And once I feel it get warm, and I'm only working because I'm working with a finer fabric at 320, once it's warm on the outside, I know it's good to go on the inside, right? Do we agree? It's like cooking in an oven, but we don't want to just drop it. So you see how I pop that with my hand? Because if I just immediately release it, I'm going to use lose the strength of the curl. And why is that important? Because Again, what was the one big thing I said? She has a finer fabric, and one thing that she does say is, I have a challenge in holding my curls. The density, the texture, she don't want to play nice. So, good luck with that stuff. <laughs> so, we're going to go ahead and we're going to play nice with her. And I, you can go at a, a horizontal or a diagonal back, again, depending on the strength that you want. Do you want a stronger curl pattern, or if you want to go at a vertical and create a nice softness and a looseness in there, again, thinking about when you're doing your haircuts, you're going to give a little bit less, you're going to lose some weight when you go at a um, vertical, just like when you're doing layers. But when you go at that diagonal, we're kind of building weight in certain areas of the hair. I'm just going to go in, do a little pass through. Again, working with it as a wand. This time I'm taking a vertical section, wrapping that hair around. And I'm going away from the face. So on each side, I went away from the face. These are some cool pro tips you can tell your guests as well. Like, why am I, why are you going away from the face? So if something like, she wants to like keep this and fine tune this in and hold on to this particular style towards the end of the night, or she wants to set it again for herself later on, she can just kind of do like a nice little roll up in the back and then pin it in um, with some body pins or hair pins wrap it up and then she has a beautiful style day two day three style for tomorrow so just showing your guests that hey even though we let have you leave here looking beautiful you can stay and have this style for a couple days if you want to like it just don't have to be a one-time particular section or style for yourself and again the holidays are coming so say that she's like i'm coming to see you late night right before thanksgiving dinner and what do I need to do to you know maintain this style? Because I'm not gonna do that again, Stephanie. I'm not gonna do that again, Victoria. So we show them and we set them and we pin it up for them and we like also put the tool in their hand and we say you still need to go home with this because you may need to do some detail work with this long barrel. And she's like, you're right, okay, <laughs> you're not wrong. But if I need you for emergency, are you on standby? We're like, don't worry because this is our season to thrive, guys. It's the it's like right, right now where we are. It is, it is winter. Winter is here. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> Winter is here and winter is showing out right now. So this is our time to thrive, stylist, and educate your guests on how to thrive. So as we work it in, again, and Victoria definitely works with a lot, a lot of extensions. So this is a great tool for your extension guests as well. Um, getting them set. You know, after doing some silk prices and depending on the length of my guest's hair, I still put, you know, the long barrel in their hair and they love this as a tool for some of my styling. And I'm going to pull out my little 10X here. I'm going to do one pass through just to ensure laying it down. One thing I did not do 
Let me rough her up. Or she get me. <laughs> She's gonna be like, see, I told you. <laughs> and I'm gonna again, going away from the face, I'm gonna wrap this hair going away, give it a nice little tug, and I'm gonna let it cook in. And again, the long barrel has an extra two inches on it, which is a beautiful, beautiful length. It comes in a one inch, and it also comes in a 1.25. So if you need bigger curls, great. If you want to get a little bit more longevity out of your curls, going small is where it's at, so you get more longevity and tightness. And as it gets older, it gets looser, and you get more, um, you get a little bit more life, um, shelf life out of it. And when I'm saying shelf life, I mean, it's not food; <laughs> it's hair. <laughs> so again. Working in one more pass, working away, and I'm allowing that hair to set too, so that way again it allows the hair to cool. So it's like if you're cooking, when you cook the meat, when you take it out of the stove, you don't immediately cut it, right? You allow it to sit down and like chill out for a second, like mmm, let that all the seasoning thing. I don't eat meat, but just in case, you know. I know, I know the rules of engagement. You gotta let it marinate. <laughs> you can't just let the juice in. <laughs> you don't just cut it open immediately. You know, don't do that to your turkey either. You let them like marinate a little bit. Like let all the juices settle in. So you're like, mmm, turkey style. So again, our long barrel one inch goes up to 430. Automatic lock switch. Nice, um, nice. Um, I might have a brain for there. <laughs> a nice nine foot swivel card as well as turning around. Again, a 60 second, a 60 minute shut off automatically. Nice little pointed um, tip here where you can also hold the tip. Again, you can use it as a regular curling iron or you can work it with it as a wand. So that's a beautiful thing to also show your guests and give them some pro tips. If they're like, mm -mm, I don't want to play with it as a curling iron. I don't know how to work with that. I will never do what you do. So then you show them easy tips behind the chair of how to do what you do. So as we now have these beautiful, beautiful curls all ready, set, go, I'm going to start taking her out. So tell me, is everybody ready for the holidays? Is I'm coming over here getting ready for, like, Victoria taking me to the hospital real quick, so what happened? <laughs> <laughs> is everybody ready for the holidays? So you have two tools that we're working with that you can make stocking stuffers. You have some amazing tools that you can add in for your holiday display. Look at those juiciness. Yes, to the long barrel. And look at the shine. So again, and when you're talking to your guests at this, and while you're telling me, are you ready for the holidays? When you're discussing with your guests, allowing them to go, you're talking to the fabric of hair. So just kind of like a pivot back really quick as I take these down. Knowing the density, is it high? Is it low? So does she have a lot that she can like, you can barely put your ponytail in, in your hands? Is it like if I put everything back, my hand closes? Is it low density? Or if I can make a nice, beautiful ponytail with getting all my fingers touching, that lets, you know, she has a medium density of hair. So keeping those things in mind, educating your guests on that, and does she have a fine, medium, or a coarse fabric? So fine, silky, Victoria here, like Victoria's Secret, silky fine. Mm. Can I put my hair back and forth? <laughs> That's how fine she is. Um, or if you're working with someone with a medium texture, diameter, so it's more like a cotton feel. Or are you working with someone with a bigger diameter who has more of a denim feel where you really feel all of those cuticle layers? Oh, fine. <laughs> Good thing we have a 10 year warranty that does not cover it if you drop it. <laughs> but making sure they have a core. So that's going to let you dictate too how high of a heat that you need on this hair to work. Again, I only work with 320 for her. I didn't need 400. I didn't need that extra little um, heat on her hair. Because again, I'm trying to keep the integrity of her hot, our hair in mind. I don't want to cause any damage on her hair. She, I'm working with such a fra fragile fabric as it is. So I want to keep those things all in motion. So making sure you educate your guests too on what are you putting your styling tools on? What are you putting your heat flow on? Do they need a high heat or do they need a low air, like high heat, low air flow? Discussing those little tips with them really does separate from everything. 
and allowing you to know how to move effectively through your educational experience. And your guests thank you for those little things, those little tips and tricks that you offer them, and they tell their friends about it. So I am gonna take this down so you can see the full Monty here. And you can do this a couple different ways. I'm gonna finger them out with my hands, but you can also work with the wet brush to comb them out, or you can work with a nice little wet brush detangling comb to help style them out. Working with my fingers, starting down. And just to get a little bit on my hands, I'm working with Weed Eyes Mungungle Oil, running it on my hands. And I'm not immediately going to the scalp. Hold on, we have hair. She has a lot, even though she has low density, she still has a lot of hair in here. So it's, it's hanging on to some of these clips. They're like, I don't want to let go. I'm here for life. She's like, you know, get the cook out of my hair something. <laughs> so I'm giving her a nice little tassel here. Working it with my fingers. Stretching it out. Using my hands and my fingers as a comb. Have her tilt forward for me just a little bit. Help her get some little bit of volume there. And then when she gets back and she flips it back and forth, you know they're gonna play with their hair too. Let her run her fingers through her hair. Yeah, yeah, look at, isn't that another Victoria's Secret model right there? Yes, yes, beautiful. So we went over a lot and I thank you so much.